hi welcome to my channel in this video we are going to discuss about another interesting integral integral uh, from one half to one arc tan of gamma of one half plus x times gamma of one half minus x over gamma of x times gamma of one minus x dx okay how to begin okay i think uh, at plus glance uh, you will remember the Euler's uh, reflection formula so we know uh, Euler's reflection formula gamma of x gamma of 1 minus x is equal to pi over sine of pi x we know this is the Euler's uh, reflection formula okay now uh, here we have gamma of x gamma of 1 minus x so directly uh, we can uh, use uh, this formula but in the numerator we have gamma of 1 half plus x gamma of 1 half minus x uh, so we can write uh, our integral is equal to uh, 1 half to 1 arc tan of here uh, gamma of 1 half plus x so gamma of uh, 1 half plus x times gamma of 1 half minus x so we can write gamma of 1 minus 1 half plus x because uh, if we subtract this we have 1 half minus x and uh, in the denominator we have uh, gamma of x gamma of 1 minus x we know pi over sine of pi x uh, here we have dx okay then um, integral uh, from one half to one the uh, arc tan of uh, arc tan of now uh, in the numerator we have gamma of one half plus x gamma of one minus one half plus x so again we can use uh, Euler's reflection formula so we have uh, pi over pi over sine of pi x so sine of pi now instead of x we have one half plus x um, and here in the denominator we have pi over sine of pi x here dx okay then uh, we can simplify one half to one arc tan of arc tan of now we know uh, here sine of uh, pi over 2 plus pi x we know uh, sine of pi over 2 plus pi x we know cosine of pi x and here this pi this pi get cancelled 1 over cosine of pi x over 1 over sine of pi x we know tan of pi x so we have tan of pi x dx okay now <coughs> uh, now uh, what do you think about this integral now uh, can you remove or cancel arc tan and tan no you can't uh, so now we can use a substitution so i'm going to take uh, pi x is equal to uh, t so pi times dx is equal to uh, dt now uh, we should change the boundary uh, here limit upper limit sorry uh, lower limit x approaches to one half uh, we know t approaches to pi over 2 pi over 2 and upper limit x approaches to 1 t approaches to pi uh, here arc tan of tan of uh, here we have t and dx we know dt over pi uh, 1 over pi we know constant so we can write outside of the integral sign well uh, now uh, we can't remove this arc tan and tan because uh, we know I think you know uh, arc tan of arc tan of tan of x is equal to x minus n times pi uh, when n times pi minus pi over 2 lower than and here x uh, here n pi plus pi over 2 uh, here we know n is a uh, integer so uh, we can write uh, our integral is equal to now 1 over pi 1 over pi integral from pi over 2 to pi now pi over 2 to pi uh, arc tan of tan of uh, x we know x minus n pi when n is equal to 1 we have x minus pi 
but here t so t minus pi so we have t minus pi d t okay uh, now we can integrate so 1 over pi times now integration of t we know t square over 2 minus uh, pi is a constant and here t uh, limit we know pi over 2 to pi now uh, if we plug in uh, limit upper boundary we know here pi square over 2 minus uh, pi times pi pi square then uh, we should plug in lower limit lower boundary uh, pi over 2 so 5 square over 4 times 2 8 5 square 8 and minus minus here plus uh, pi times pi over 2 5 square over 2 okay then uh, we know 5 square over 2 5 square over 2 is equal to 5 square and this 5 square get cancelled and here we have pi this pi get cancelled so we have minus 5 over 8 okay this is the answer if you like this type of videos uh, please subscribe this channel thank you for watching